Have you ever started creating an art piece, designed your characters, outlined them on art paper, even started coloring it, and then realized this piece is not the piece it's meant to be? Yeah, that's what happened with this one. Hey everybody, and welcome back to Art of the Cart, and another episode where I create an art piece and take you along on the journey with me, talking about how I created said art piece, and some of the things that rambled through my brain. That could be frightening. So this piece is for the YouTube Artist Collective theme of cards, and I have to tell you, at first I had no clue what I was going to create for this said theme, but in the end, I came up with doing the four queens of of the suit, so diamonds, spades, hearts, clubs. And originally, I was just going to do like a character design of each one of them so you could see their full costumes and all that, but it really wasn't very artsy, like the YouTube Artist Collective ideas to create a piece that you want to frame and hang up on your wall. So I decided to push myself a little bit. I did not throw that piece away. I have that one put to my work on it sometime in the future because I like the setup for it, but started recreating this one. And the, and the idea that I came up with was a gigantic playing card. Each of the four corners would host one of the suits and then have a facial portrait of each of the queen. So either like a profile or a three quarters angle. Now, you know me while I start working on art and this piece took a ton of time. I've been working on this for the last week. I love coming up with the stories and I came up with a doozy for this one. So I'll share a little bit of this story um, later on in the video. So make sure to stick around. For this new setup, I decided to go ahead and do the sketch design plus the inking in on the computer. So I did all digitally. Um, and for those of you who like all the digital technical stuff, I use a Cintiq 13 inch Wicom Cintiq tablet to do my artwork with. And then the software I use is Clip Studio Paint. The fun thing about doing the line art on the computer is that I have the line art available. So for any of you who would like to color along with me on this picture, I will have a link to my Etsy shop where you can go ahead and purchase this digital download. It's going to come in a couple of different versions. It'll have a just thick black line outline. And then as you'll see, what I'm using is a very super transparent line. So you can just barely see the outlining. Um, and that helps you to create a more um, not so so illustrated look because when you put an outline around something it really makes it illustrated there are a few places on the picture where you'll see a thicker line and I actually went in with a, a copic multi-liner and just kind of thick thickened a few lines as i worked on i kind of wish i wouldn't have done that but uh, it's okay it works I went ahead and printed this off on a really thick cardstock. It's a hundred weight cardstock. It's what I love to use for um, drawing and coloring with Copic markers. It handles it really well. Um, and you'll see I use a mixture of Copic markers, color pencils, and a little bit of inks with this. So it was a fun piece to do, but super, super kind time consuming. Like again, I worked on it on and off for three or four days last week. And then this week have been just, this has been my main focus to work on this piece. So I did not record the whole creation process. That video would be insanely long, even if sped up super fast. Even though you might say, oh, no, I want to see it. You probably wouldn't because a lot of it is layering in the colors, which really doesn't look like much because it's such a slow process of layering in slightly warmer shades and tones and things. So I'm giving you little highlights of each creation part, but you'll see, you know, jumps in the footage um, to where, you know, where you're like, woo, her hair is done now. So also because there are four faces, there was a lot of repetition. There was, you know, it would have been a little boring had I recorded everything. So while I'm working on this, let me go ahead and share a little bit about the YouTube Artist Collective before I get into the actual story behind this piece. So the YouTube Artist Collective is a group of artists on YouTube that every few months we create a piece based on a theme that is chosen by you guys. So if you guys would like to help set and pick the the next theme. Um, I will have a link in the description box below to the YouTube Artist Collective Facebook page. And on that page, probably in the next week, two weeks, a poll is going to go up for you guys to vote. Now the poll does not stay up for very long. It's up for usually a day. So you have to really be checking in. I try to let people know like on my Instagram or Twitter when the poll goes up so that you guys can jump over there because Facebook does not 
always let us know when people post things on pages. So I will try my best to let you guys know as well. So if you're not following me yet on Instagram or Twitter, you can uh, find those links to all of my social media in the description box below as well. Also in the description box below is going to be a link to all of the YouTube Artists Collective members. You can definitely check out their pieces and I will have a link to the playlist where as each of them put their videos up, I'll add their playlist plus past videos. It is a fun playlist to watch if you guys ever like you know cleaning your room or you just need some you know stuff in the background play that because it's just uh, it's so inspiring I love going back and watching all of their videos and how they create pieces also a new fun thing we've been doing the last couple of uh, collectives is we have guest artists join us so I think this month we have two maybe three guest artists so if you already follow all the regular YouTube Artists Collective artists, you might find a few new artists. Also, I highly recommend that you search on YouTube using like the hashtag YouTube Artists Collective because there are a lot of people that are not official members but still create amazing pieces of art. And if you do, if you're one of those artists that have a YouTube channel, create a piece for the YouTube Artists Collective theme, let me know in the comment section below. Put your comments in there. This is my video. You can put your link. I'll allow links for this one so that we can go check those out. If you don't have a YouTube page and you still would like to try to do a piece based on this theme, theme, um, use the hashtag YouTube Artist Collective, um, Y-T-A-C, and post that Instagram, Twitter, so we can see it. I, I really enjoy, really, really, um, that's one of the, it's kind of like a little treasure hunt for me to go out and see who all has created new pieces. So do that, let me know. All right, getting to the piece, the story behind this piece. When I when we got this this theme, I had no clue what I was going to do. I was like, oh, and at first I thought maybe I'd do like this gambler girl, you know, gothic, steampunk you know cards stuck up her sleeves or something I thought man I realized when I was a kid I'm a weird kid I was very weird when I was a kid I loved playing chess but one of my favorite things to do while playing chess was trying to figure out the story behind why the two sides were fighting there had to be a story there had to be a reason what betrayal went on that made these two neighboring countries fight each other that was weird. And so I decided to take that theme and apply it to my, my piece. Why were these four suits fighting each other? And so decided to take, um, because I like drawing girls, as you guys know, <laughs> didn't want to draw kings because that's the guys. So I drew the four queens and as I was drawing it, decided, oh, I knew their story. And, oh, I almost thought maybe I want to write this story out and, you know, like a little book like I did with the crow's princess and put it out there so you guys could read it, but it's kind of dark and it doesn't have an ending. So I'll just go ahead and tell you guys. <laughs> so here is the story of the four sisters. Once upon a time, there was the kingdom of diamonds. The king was a good and just king and had four daughters. Sadly, one day the king passed away. The crown went to the oldest daughter. She became the queen of the diamond kingdom. Like her father, the queen of diamonds was a wise ruler, but she went by the book. Like she lived and ruled her kingdom by the laws set by her father. Now the second oldest sister was not so much by the book. She loved fancy things, beautiful jewels, parties. So when the king of the land of clubs came and offered for her hand in marriage, she quickly accepted. The Queen of Diamonds agreed to the match because it would make a good alliance with her kingdom. Now, the third sister had fallen in love with a king from a small kingdom, the Kingdom of Spades. And she and the king loved each other so, so much. So the princess begged her sister to allow her to marry the King of Spades. And at first, the Queen of Diamonds denied it because it wouldn't make a good match. This kingdom was more of a liability than a help. It could not defend itself against threats. It didn't have a lot of resources. It was just a very small kingdom. But the queen knew how much her sister loved the king, and so after a while, agreed to the match. So the princess became the queen of spades, and they were so happy. But their happiness was short-lived, for one night the queen of spades found that her husband had been assassinated by some mysterious enemy. The strange thing was that no one ever claimed that they were responsible for the murder. There was no reason for it. And so full of grief and sorrow at the loss of her husband, the Queen of Spades seemed to fall into insanity over the grief of the loss of her husband. Now, the youngest princess, 
She was adored and loved by all around her. There were so many people that offered her hand in marriage, but she begged her sister, the queen, to please allow her as well to have the choice of who she wanted to marry. Shortly after her sister, the queen of spades, was married, the youngest princess accepted the marriage proposal from the king of hearts. It's puzzled everyone. The king of hearts was not a wise king. He was kind of an addle-brained person. His kingdom, though large and powerful, only survived because of the huge amount of advisors and royal counselors that helped this battle-brained king run his kingdom. Very quickly after she had become the Queen of Hearts, mysteriously, the counselors and advisors disappeared. But it didn't seem to affect the kingdom. It still flourished and was strong and a powerful military force. So all four sisters, now queens of their respective kingdoms, began to rule. Of course, the Queen of Spades wasn't in no position to truly rule, and each sister decided that they should be the one to help her out. Disagreements began to arise between the three sisters, deciding who would be the one to help their sister, the Queen of Spades, rule her kingdom until she was in a better position herself to rule. The Queen of Clubs normally would not have cared, but because the sisters had not even included her in this discussion, became insulted by this, and therefore a small bickering arose. The disharmony between the four sisters began to grow so greatly that soon war broke out between the four kingdoms, and there begins the game. So now, you guys, every single time... I play with a deck of cards. I'll always be thinking of these four sisters and their stories. So that's a thing. So my question for you guys is based on this illustration and the slight backstory behind it. Who is your favorite queen? Let me know in the comment section below. I have to tell you my favorite queen was going to be the queen of diamonds. I really liked her. But man, the backstory in my mind for the queen of spades just, oh, I love her story. And if I were like finish the story, she's not done yet. I'll just tell you, she's not done yet. She's a little sad right now, but she's not done yet. It's going to come out who hired the assassin and she knows who it is. I would love to do other pictures of these four sisters, maybe with the queens and the kings, um, or maybe the sisters when they were really young, before they became the queens. If you would like to see other pictures of these four characters, let me know also in the comment section below. We'd love to love to see what your thoughts are on that, or your conspiracy theories of the story, or comment away. I love reading comments. They're so much fun. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with me in this video. It was a super, super long video. This piece is available. The original is available on my Etsy shop. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. Also, we'll have prints available over on my Redbubble, as well as the line art is on my Etsy shop. So all these fun things. Don't forget to check out the other artists in the YouTube Artist Collective. And as always, God bless you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me, and we'll see you in the next art video. Bye-bye!